All right, guys, welcome to my round two game of this month's Rev GP. Um, still playing four color consonants against eight squid, who seems to be on some sort of ramp deck. So it's going to be ramp against ramp, so that that will be interesting. This hand, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. It has some ramp spells, and then it drift off. And then I'll pro I'll just try to draw into the ramp targets. Uh, so how is the curve looking? Uh, so turn one contest. Oh, nice! I got wild court seeker. Yeah, so contested passage is probably fetching a mountain here, or I mean a forest. Where's forest? It's forest, and they have a blocker for start sudded. What does this guy do? It, it grows whenever basic land enters. Uh, all right, sure. I can probably kill that with drift off before it becomes too big uh, or too much trouble. If I play start sudded, I mean start sudded, so it just runs into seeker. I'm pretty sure they want to trade here. If I play a ley line, what's that do? Gets me up to four mana next turn, and then Wild Court gets back something, which, uh, well, that thing's going to be tapped. But it's probably better than running starts so into whatever they have. So, or actually, no, I need, if I want to play a Wild Court, I do need to ramp, because otherwise my mana doesn't work out. Or no, I need to play the Night Shiners if I want to cast Wild Court on, or on curve. So, yeah, I'll do this. And next turn, I'll play a Wild Court and then play Magdalena Bay tapped. We're going to fetch end of turn. I wonder if I should be playing Mana Lands in my deck. I mean, I do have a decent chunk of dev devotion going on, but the problem is that I don't think my mana is good enough to play these guys. Like, even though they mana fix, well, that thing's a 3 3 now, and they have their own Wild Court Seeker, and they're probably. Okay, what? Well, that thing's going to be trouble. Well, hopefully, I can ramp up to seven or to six and then drift off both these guys. You're going to whack me for one more than usual. How's the curve looking? So next turn I Wild Court Seeker, get back a land, that's fine. Yeah, so I'll be able to drift off the turn after next turn. They're ramping a bit. They can go up to 6 mana next turn. Uh, what do they have on 6? Uh, they actually don't have that much high cost stuff. It's just a bunch of low cost stuff that can do stuff when they get lots of land. So it's more like a landfall deck than a ramp deck, I guess. Like, I'm more of a true ramp deck where I actually have the top end. Okay, so Magdalena Bay, that fixes these two colors. I, I probably want to fetch a mountain with Contested Passage. So that I can get three land types for a Wild Court Seeker. Yeah. Can I steal from my opponent's land? Nope, it's only my graveyard. Instant Lightbane also comes into play untapped now, if that matters, but it doesn't. So, and I can't make this untapped because I have no good attacks right now. So yeah, I just play Magdalena Bay and tap, a tap and pass and hope that they can't um, do anything super scary. They attack with the Wild Court Seeker, do I trade? Well, I mean, they, they're probably going to play something scary this turn, so I probably do want to trade just so that I have, um... I don't know, if I trade off Wild Court Seeker and they kill Leyline Challengers, I can't play Drift Off next turn. Uh, um, I can't Trump Seeker either, so I just need to take it. They're getting back another Contested Passage. Can they actually grow this guy? Uh, what? No, they only have two. Alright, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll block here and trade. Well, I mean... I'll block here and kill that thing. Uh, do they have removal for this guy? Then there's Avalanche. What does that do? I didn't have this card loaded. Uh, let me look. Uh, let me see what that card does. Uh, it It's a fight spell. Okay, sure. This thing dies. So I take 6. That's quite a chunk of damage. But now I get to drift off all their guys. So there's that at least. But unless they kill my Leyline Channelers. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, that's really bad. Do I just drift off a single thing then? Because... Uh, yeah, I need to drift off the Seeker before it gets out. Oh, they get this thing off. What's the backside do? It's a fourth. Oh, um, hmm, that's a problem. Yeah, it seems like I just didn't ramp as well as they did. So how's my curve? How do I play this? The curve doesn't work out very well because, yeah, okay, so what am I doing? I can nascent light being name in green. That lets me cast starts I did, but then that doesn't let me drift off afterwards because... Man, it doesn't work out. Alternatively, I can play Dark Sided Leyline Challengers and then just Trump for a turn, but then that gets me gets them more uh, Seeker triggers, which is really bad for me. I think my best bet is just is just to remove the thing that's in front of me and then play blockers. Start Sided will bl block Wild Court Seek. We'll be able to block Wild Court Seeker, and then I'll, I'll just have to take in the, in the phase for a mountain, and then I have to hope to draw into a Grand Constance or something to get me out of this. I mean, I think that's probably doable. Yeah, that's probably my best bet, too. So I'm naming green on uh, the nascent light vein. I need to get rid of the seeker, and I'll start set it as a blocker. 
on the bright side, they are starting to run out of resources. And by run out, I mean they're on three cards now, which is the same number of cards as I have in hand. I mean, so you know like a Grand Constance top deck does still get me out of this. A lot, I mean, Recall Hell Elm would be nice because that blows up the Man Land that's looking quite juicy to activate right now. Like, okay, they have removal. A am I dead? Not completely, but I am. It is pretty close now. One, two, three, four. They can activate this guy. They're not going to, though. They whack me for six. And so top deck ripped off be will be quite nice here. Even though, no, that, that still means I died to Nessian Woods. So I, th I don't think I have a out here. Forgotten calls for, yeah, and that too. That finds them something useful. Okay, they only found the land off that. Basically, what I need is top deck ripped off. Ripped off mountain plus... I, I, I can't deal with Nessian Woods no matter what happens. Okay, so best top deck would be... Here we call Helion because that blows up Nessie in the woods and then blocks the mountain. And then I just have to... No, the no for all well, plus wild quick still kills me. I don't think there's a top deck that gets me out of this. And start set, more start setteds. Yeah, that's useless. And I'm just dead, right? I can... So I can slap down a bunch of blockers. So that's block, block. All for all kill... No, all for all kill something then block, block. This kills me. Yeah, I'm just dead. They're, they just match me faster than me. And I'm the ramp deck too. So I'm the one that's supposed to go over them, which means Brazes come in because I need removal for their guys. Uh, what what comes out? Ofro Ofro has plenty of good targets. Plenty of bulls. I don't like that card. Um, I need all the ramp that's available, right? Drift off is for sure. I'll take out one drift off because I already have all these Brazes. Uh, actually, I'll take out a Braze. I I don't want to screw up my Grand Constants ratios that much, which means I should probably get this guy back in. I'm not sure how this works. Two more cuts. Cut a Forgotten Cultivator because that's usually why I've cut first and then cut an Asahai or something. Is Bring the House Down useful? I mean, they do play to the board, but at the same time, I don't think Bring the House Down is that useful. Uh, so yeah, one more cut. Uh, oh, I brought in a bunch of two drops. So I should probably cut a two drop, although that. Yeah, Star Studded, Star Studded has trouble connecting. I'll take out Star Studded. And this hand has. Oh, it, so its first play is on turn three. And it has too much top end. I, I, don't, I can't keep this. Okay, this hand's first play is still turn three, but at least I, at least it's more useful. Is having two wild court secrets ever good? I don't think so, right? Uh, so what's my curve looking like? Nascent, contested, island, slam wild court, ramp into fury call, keep a drift off. Yeah, I bombed other wild court. And do they have grave hate at all? No, they don't have grave hate. All right, I'll just contest the passage first, then. Secret of New Horizons. Alright, that's annoying. Also, notably, I can't actually cast Drift Off with how I have to fetch right now. So that's... Maybe I should bomb Drift Off because... Yeah, this would this is going to go very poorly if the mana doesn't work out. Contest Patchets needs to fetch white and I need Wild Court Seeker to survive a turn or else I am going to be mana screwed. And I actually can't cast Fear Call Helion too because that mana is just not working out. I need lots of things to go right for the mana to work out here. So that means lands are good top. How do they drive all three of my drift offs? Okay, I need Wild Court Seeker to not die here because otherwise I will be mass screwed. Like I need to get an attack in so that I can actually cast my drift offs. Uh, please don't be removal. The elf roll doesn't actually kill this thing, so that's so at least that's one removal option out of the way. Combo Avalanche. Yeah, that's a problem. Alright, so now I need to the top deck white sources. If I don't top deck lens, I'm just dead here, right? Uh, I need to fetch planes. If I top deck a red source, that's... Okay, yeah, that's really bad. Um, can I still get up? If I top deck a white source, I can kick a drift. I can do three kick drift fast in a row, and that probably gets me back in the game. But yeah, they're just free to do things now. This actually doesn't... Excel target non land, so yeah, if they, if this thing starts animating land, I can't kill it with drift off. Uh, Fury Call Helion still blocks it, but... Yeah, so I, I, I just need good top decks. I, I need to find my colors. Um, Ulfro also gets me a land. Wait, so now Brazes are also dead top decks because I, I should bomb Drift off. I, that way, yeah, I should bomb Drift off so that I can guarantee that two Wild Court Seekers at least gets me my, gets the correct colors. Yeah, and two Wild Court Seekers would be, is a pretty reliable way to ramp into Fury Call Helion, and that would have actually gotten me the correct colors for Fury Call Helion too, so I messed up really big time by not buying the Drift off. Okay, so I can still get out of this if I top deck exactly, uh, White Swords right now. So yeah, please top deck the right thing. Hey, that's a really late Wild Court Seeker. Well, I mean, if this gets me the right map for Drift Off, if I, instead, except it doesn't because Contested Passage is going to be tapped. So I need 
So I'll have to trump for a turn. They can animate the land next turn and then one, two, three, four. Uh, no, they can't yet unless they have a wild court seeker or something. So yeah, then the turn after, uh, then I just have to chain three drift offs and hope that it does the thing that it needs to. Uh, all right, fine. All right. I mean, this is what I get for playing a four color deck that relying on mostly basic mana base. Playing by nature, what does that do? Ah, okay, I'm screwed. All right, sure. I, I guess that. Uh, okay, so I, I can still top deck a white source. Uh, they should rough rider. Well, I mean that doesn't kill wild court seeker, so th that's not too horrible. I just have to hope they have nothing. Uh, if they attack, I can't block because I need wild court seeker to live. So that actually, no, wild court seeker doesn't do anything. Another seeker, new. Okay, sure. The thing is, like, I am completely fine as long as I start. Do I block? Yeah, I need to block here. All right, white top deck, please. Come on. Are you serious? All right, sure. Am I just dead? Yeah, I am just dead. All right, so lesson learned. I should be keeping, if I see a hand that has this sort of cover requirement, I should be keeping the wild court seekers instead of the drift offs because that guarantees that I don't run into the situation where I get co completely mass screwed. Don't all throw me too, it's for good measure. Uh, just start kidding stuff too. What are, what are they playing around? Because I don't have any instant speed stuff that answers this board. And I'm just dead. Alright, sure. The constant stack can't perform, but like this is this is also something that can happen. And when it happens, then the deck just completely falls apart. And it's not like even... I don't think it's because I have a bad matchup into the de their deck. It's just that I got very unlucky this game and also didn't play in a way that would that would like uh make up for that bad luck. Anyway, so that... There, that's also my rev GP run finished. Uh, yeah, this 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 is just what happens with the deck. That's unfortunate. All right, yeah, and I guess I'll see you next month.